see another concept in computer graphics that is the parallel projections in computer graphics so the topics uh, here i am going to cover here is what exactly the projection is first we will see what is mean by projection because we are working on parallel projection right so try to understand what exactly the projection is and what is a parallel projection in computer graphics there are some characteristics of parallel projections are there and the categories of the parallel projections so finally we will see about the types of the pa uh, parallel projection that is the orthographic and oblique projection so we will see all these with an examples right so by the end of this video you will get a complete clarity on what exactly the parallel projection in computer graphics so first of all let's see what is a projection let what is a projection it's nothing but converting the 3d object into 2d object a projection is defined as converting a 3D object into 2D object and transforming the object into the projection plane. Projection plane is nothing but the view plane. Whatever you are seeing, okay, so it's a view plane. So try to convert the projection that is a 3D object into 2D object and transforming that object into the projection plane that is a view plane. This concept we call it as a projection. Projections are broadly classified into two types. They are parallel projection and perspective projection so it's not only the parallel projection and the type is also there that is a perspective projection so if you see this diagram you can get the complete clarity on the types of projection so we are discussing about the parallel projection i said the perspective projection is also there a per perspective per projections are one point projection two point projection three point projections are called as a perspective projection okay now coming to the parallel projection I said the parallel projections are of two types. One is orthographic parallel projection. Next is the oblique parallel projection. So orthographic parallel projection, there are two views are there. Principal views and the axonometric. Principal means side view, front view and the top view. view these are all concern, comes under the principal views. Then axonometric views means isometric view, diametric view, triometric view. Means based on the angles, the projections are displayed on the view plane. And coming to the oblique parallel projection. So the two types of oblique parallel projections are cavalier and the cabinet. Okay. So now let's see what is this parallel projection. A parallel projections are generally used by the engineers and the architects. So architects are engineers. Though those people will use a parallel projection. Why? Why they are using only the parallel projection? So for creating a working, uh, creating working drawing of the object. Suppose if you want a complete representation of any object, any object if you want a complete uh, representation, these engineers and architectures try to take two or more views of an object using different planes. So if you want required two or more views, then obviously the people will choose the parallel projection. A parallel projection helps in displaying the picture in its true shape and size. Why? Why it is showing? To, because we are considering one or more views, okay, two or more views, so that we will get a complete clarity on what is exactly the size and the shape of a picture. So that's why the parallel projections helps in displaying a picture in its true shape and size. Here the projection lines are parallel to each other. Suppose the projectors are perpendicular to the view plane. Actually projection lines are parallel to each other only, always. But suppose if they are perpendicular to the view plane, then that type of projection we call it as a orthographic projection. So these type of projections, that is a parallel projections are good for accurate measurements. When we want to work on the accurate measurements, then better to use the parallel projections. So parallel projection. So see here, I said the parallel projection, the view here, the these are parallel to each other. The view plane here, the lines are parallel to each other. So this is an object which is a 3D object. The 3D object is converted into 2D object and transformed into the view plane. So this is a view plane. Okay. And when while it transferring the lines that is projected lines, these projected lines are parallel to each other. Now different types of pro, uh, parallel projection. One is the orthographic and there is the oblique projection. Let's see about the orthographic projection. Orthographic projection object along with parallel lines is perpendicular to the view plane here the parallel lines along with the parallel lines okay along with the parallel lines it, it which uh, appears as a perpendicular to the view plane in orthographic projection front 
सीट रेयर पोजिशन और कॉल एलिवेशन only the top position is called like plane view whatever the top position that is a 3d object okay so if you see this top position this is called as a view plane plane view the plane view and whatever the sides front these all rare positions are called as elevations these are elevations okay so it is again classified into two types one is multi view projection another is the axonometric projection multi view projection means for which the object is behind the projection plane okay object shown in 2d it is further again divided into three categories one is a top view front view side view. okay so top view so see here this is a 3d object and this is a view plane and this is a view plane so here the top view the lines of perpendicular here in this top view projection the rays emerges from the top of the polygon it is emerges from the top of the polygon and the surface is abjad so the lines are parallel to the and it is perpendicular to the view plane lines are parallel to the each other okay and perpendicular so see here this is perpendicular to the view plane and coming to the side view side view means here the view uh, side view of the po uh, polygon surface is abjad so this is the top view this is a top view and this comes under the side view and front view means front fa face view is observed here so this is a front face view so this is going to be projected which are perpendicular to the view plane okay and the lines are parallel to each other now coming to the axonometric view so the axonometric view here is okay so here it shows more than one face object one face of the object axonometric again classified as isometric diametric and trimetric okay so see here isometric projection all angles are equal one thing you have to remember that isometric means all angles are equal isosceles triangle like that all angles are equal okay and in isometric projection all angles are equal it represents a 3d object into 2d object in a technical and engineering drawing so here is angle a whatever the angle we have taken a and the b and the c these angles are equal that is oa ob and the oc see here this is oa ob and the oc all are of equal size that is isometric projection now now let's come into the diametric projection so the diametric projection here a two angles uh or equal with respect to the principle of axis so that means a equal to b but the second and the one angle is not equal to the c that is diametric only two angles are equal with respect to the principal axis next trimetric means all angles are not equal a not equal to b and the b is not equal to c okay now coming to the oblique projections so oblique projection is a kind of parallel projection where the projection rays emerges parallelly from the surface of the polygon and the incident angle is not perpendicular to the view plane see here so far whatever you have discussed in the orthographic projection the angles are that is perpendicular to the view plane but here in the oblique projection the lines are not uh, means the angle is not perpendicular to the view plane it is classified into two types cavalier and the cabinet cavalier is an oblique projection where the projecting lines are parallel to the object surface and it is incident at a 45 degrees it is incident at a 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees if it is 90 degrees means it becomes a perpendicular but here it is a concept is it's not is a perpendicular so incident at 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees at the projecting plane here the length of the reading axis is larger than the cabinet see here this is the length of the reading axis it's larger than the cabinet this is a cabinet projection so it's larger than the cabinet projection and also the lines are perpendicular to the projection plane and are pro, uh, are projected with no change in length so here the angle is 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees and cabinet projection cabinet projection is same as the cavalier projection only but what is the difference the difference here the length of the reading axis there the length is it's a big okay it is far reading axis is larger but here the length is just half when compared to the cavalier projection see here this is only just half when compared to the cavalier 
So here the incident angle is projected 63.4 degrees rather than 45 degrees. In cabinet projection, all lines are perpendicular to the projection plane are projected to one half of their length, which gives a realistic appearance of the object. So this is about the parallel projection students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.